Welcome to this tutorial on creating and editing web pages in Excite Pro. In the last two tutorials, we learned how to set up projects and sites as well as how to implement a basic site design by manipulating the page layout tab. Here's where we start adding actual web pages to our husk of a site. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add and manipulate web pages. We'll learn about the importance of metadata such as keywords and descriptions. I'll show you how to alter the order of pages in our navigation menus. And finally, we'll put on some finishing touches such as adding category headings and linking to external web pages. We'll continue working with our Mike's Mountain Bike site from the previous tutorial. Our central hub for adding new content is the Web Pages tab. Here's where you can add and organize all sorts of page content. As you can see, things look pretty bare right now, but that's about to change. First things first, we need a home page. To get one, simply click the Add button and give it a name. We'll call this one Home. Now, we suddenly have all kinds of options at our disposal. First off, we want to specifically tell Excite Pro that this is our home page. Notice how the file name changes to reflect this. Also notice that the keywords list was taken directly from the site's list of keywords. Since this is the home page, it's actually pretty accurate, so we'll leave it alone. And of course, you want a keyword rich description to help it in the search engines. The description is particularly important because it will also show up on your sitemap. Remember in the last tutorial how we created a couple of different navigation menus and I said you could choose which pages show up where? Well this is where you specify where your current page will be listed. You can list this page in any or all of four places. On the navigation menu, the main panel footer, the page footer, and on the sitemap. In addition to the sitemap, I want Home to show up on the navigation menu. If desired, you can also change the text of the page's navigational link to be different from the page title, but Home seems apropos, so we'll leave it alone. Before moving on, we have two additional options to be aware of. First, you can decide whether or not you actually want the page to be published. If the page is a work in progress, you can refrain from publishing it until you're done. Ignore page layout settings means that the page will disregard all the lovely settings that we made on the page layout tab. So if you need a page in your site that looks completely different than the rest of the site, this is the way to go. Now most sites consist of a lot more than just a home page. We can add as many pages as we want, following the same procedure as when we inserted the home page. I'm going to add several pages that will have content related to various services provided by Mike such as bike repair, private consulting, and prearranged bike tours of upstate New York. But now all those service pages should be grouped under one heading. If you go back to add, notice that you can add a category heading. I'm going to add one called services. I can use the arrow buttons to move a page up or down. You can also use these buttons to nest one page inside another, which we'll be talking about in a subsequent tutorial. Of course, your site would be quite boring if all it did was link to itself, which is why you can easily add external links to your navigation. Simply return to Add, and then choose External Link. Enter the menu text. and then add your link right here. Good. We'll place it right under Home. Also note that the navigation menu automatically updates itself to incorporate your changes. And if you click on the sitemap, you'll notice that it too has been updated. While traditionally used as a navigation tool, sitemaps are now an important part of determining your search engine rankings and having Excite Pro do the dirty work for you means one less thing to worry about. To summarize, we've learned about adding web pages, adjusting their navigation, and enhancing their metadata. But we're nowhere near finished. Stay tuned for our next tutorial on getting the most out of the designer.